Hey guys, I'm back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at some Leaf Treasure Track stuff coming to Prodigy, so let's get into the video. Alright, so as you can see, I already have one of the Treasure Track things on. This is a mount, and we are going to be looking at everything else that is going to be coming in this Treasure Track. So we are going to start off by looking at the mounts. So we can already see that there is Witch's Jelly. This has a heart bonus of 50 and a power bonus of 50. Um, it kind of looks weird when you walk around in it. I'll go ahead and show it. So yeah, it just looks a little weird. It's just sliding across. Um, so that's that. And then there is the Jack-O-Lantern er, mount, which is actually really good. It has a heart bonus of 70 and a def defense bonus of 70, so it has really good stats for something that's non-member. Description is, it's a pumpkin, a lantern, and an and, and yearn, and you're standing in it. Uh, that kind of sounds we weird, but I'm, I don't care. Uh, the next thing we're going to look like, I don't know why I went out of the inventory, because we're going to stay in here. We are going to be looking at the one buddy that is going to be being added, and that is the Phantom Snake, which is a legendary. Um, I don't have the pet stats update on this account, so I don't know what its stat is, but it says extremely rare even in the Shadow Realm. They are very friendly despite the dark world they inhabit. And that is the Phantom State Snake. We'll go ahead and put it on and see what it looks like walking around. So yeah, just pretty average. Now this probably isn't going to happen, but maybe we get like some sort of Shadow Realm thing for the Treasure Track or for just October because it said that they're very rare even in the uh, Shadow Realm. I know the Treasure Track is somewhat supposed to be named that. But we'll just have to wait and see. One thing that is surprising, by the way, today is October 1st, which we normally would have expected to get uh, Pumpkin Fest today. But we did not. We did not get the Treasure Track either. So that was a bit surprising. Hopefully we get it tomorrow. So yeah. Next up, we are going to be looking at some items. So there is going to be a few new morphs. Uh, I don't believe there's anything up here, so yeah, we only have like three things to look at in here. We have Shadow Works, feel the power of the Shadow Lands Dark, make it as it may feel the power of the Shadow Lands Dark mark as it explodes in the sky above you. So we're gonna look at that in a second. Uh, it might make the game crash, but we also have the Ball of Goo. Is it slime? Is it snot? Maybe both. Toss it. Get hit by it. Get your swipes ready or wipes ready for the big cleanup afterwards. And then we have the Morph Marble Cato Lantern, which morphs you into the Cato Lantern for 10 minutes. So now we are going to go ahead and try out the items. Uh, it probably will make the game crash, but we'll go ahead and look. So here is this, that looks pretty cool, and then here is the slime one. So yeah, kind of just like the tomato but red, or the snowball but green. And then finally we are going to be looking at two pets, these are uh, Plushkin, I don't know why I don't have any pets. Okay, here we go. And here we are, we have Viper Cups and Aspir. So there is also pet gear in the treasure track. Uh, you can't get pet gear really yet. But here is Viper Cups. It looks pretty cool. And let's go ahead and look at its attack animation. So it just like sticks out its ta er, tongue and the two snakes for its ears also stick out their tongues. And then let's go ahead and look at Aspir as well. So, here is what it looks like. It looks pretty cool. And here is its attack anim animation. <clears throat> so, it has like some uh, green glows as it goes. So, it's not as cool as uh, Viper Cuff. And just as I was about to go ahead and end up the video, I did just get an email from a Prodigy employee. 
about some stuff that is also going to be in the treasure track, like some uh, mythical epics that are going to be in it, so we are going to go ahead and look at those. So here is some of the stuff that was shared, so this is what the uh, new bat uh, buddy looks like. Here is it flapping. Uh, here is that snake buddy that I was showing you. Here is it again. Here is the, uh, like, garden snake. I can't remember the exact name. But this is the updated version of it, HD. Here is the bat buddy. Here is its icon. It looks pretty cool. Here is the snake. Here is the snake again. Here is the purple snake. Here is that. And then here is the updated version of the skunk. This looks pretty cool. Uh, here's its icon. Here's its idle animation. There's it walking. Uh, here's the snake slithering. Here is the firework that I just showed. Here is the firework like when it's uh, fully out. Uh, the Jacko. Uh, Jacko Cat, I can't remember the name. Getting updated, and I think it looks pretty cool. Um, and then, as you can see, here is the Mythical Epic. Murahawk is getting re-released. But that's not the only Mythical Epic that's going to be re-released. Here is, um, an updated icon for, um, the Cattle Lantern. Although, I think it's already been in-game for a few months, or maybe a year at this point. Uh, we also have pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin sprites. Um, this might be updated to HD. I don't know. It looks different. Uh, here is a pet hat. Here's another pet hat. These are just pet hats. I'm going to go through these pretty quickly. But I've shown all these in a different video. That's why I'm not going to go over them too much. But yeah, most of them look pretty cool. Here is all of them together. And then, here is, um, a previous Wizard Watch post. I don't know if this is actually gonna be in Wizard Watch. Um, I don't know why this is here. This has been in the game for a while. Um, here is the mount that I showed earlier. Here's the mount that I showed earlier. Here's the mount that I showed earlier. That's it animated. Here is Viper Cuffs. Here is Asphere. Um, here's Viper Cuffs again. So yeah. Uh, Pumpkin Sprite definitely looks different, and I think it looks very cool. Um, I'm trying to get to what the other Mythical Epic is trying to be, so I'm just going to go through these pretty quick. I'll just... There's Murahawk again. And then here is the other Mythical Epic. Um, Nebula is getting re-released, and... That is pretty good. That's the only Mythical Epic that I don't have, so I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, I think there's like a pretty good shot that we could be seeing Treasure Track come tomorrow, which means that we could also be seeing Pumpkin Fest come tomorrow as well. So yeah, that is going to go ahead and end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and bye.